Uniforms, but some men in Dallas say they are protecting and serving. They're not trying to replace police, but sometimes they're armed. Thanks for joining us. I'm Cynthia Seguirre. And I'm Chris Lawrence. The men say they're protecting their community, and you can find them patrolling the streets in Oak Cliff, specifically the area around Highland Hills. Rebecca Lopez went to check it out. Anybody in the apartments? They say they are tired of crime here. Come on out. So they're taking matters into their own hands. So we're not here policing or being security guards. We, we're coming in as brothers. They call themselves community engagement activists. They have armed themselves and openly carry weapons around the Highland Park apartments in southern Dallas. And they work in shifts. They're looking to stop trouble and crime. We're not trying to uh, come out here and uh, police anybody. We're not trying to um, um, intimidate anybody. We just want to let them know that we're an extra resource that they have uh, in terms of their safety and security. Like this is one of our problem vacant apartments. For a month, they've been patrolling. They say not once have they seen any of the DPS troopers who are helping Dallas police with the summer crime. And they say DPD officers take too long to get here when they need them. The apartment management welcomes them. These guys being here, things have been getting a lot, a whole lot better here on, on the complex. Residents agree and say they feel better about letting their kids come out and play. I really think it's good that they've been walking around. The volunteers say they are also cleaning up the apartments with beautification days and helping families with school supplies. They say police can't fight crime alone, so they are here to help. It's no secret that the Dallas Police Department needs more officers. It's also a department that is in complete disarray. And so citizens are trying to come up with ways to fight their own high crime in their neighborhoods. Now, commanders I talked to today say they welcome uh, neighbors and residents taking initiative, but they do not want them confronting dangerous criminals because they don't want anyone getting hurt. That's a job for police. Back to you. There's a line. Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, last week,